Welcome to another episode, guys. We are here hanging out. And today, as you see from the title, we are talking about filmmaking in the Bahamas. So building the film industry in the Bahamas, which is now a goal of mine after following the leading of, you know, what God has been doing in my life. Those who've been following the channel for quite some time, you know that I take... You know that I talk about faith, family, and film. And so I am in the middle of a huge project that God has given me. And I think this is the first time I'm talking about this project on this platform, but God has given us the opportunity to be able to start the Star Film Institute. And the Star Film Institute is an organization where we're going to train those who want to be in the theater world and in the TV world of how to take an idea from a concept. So they would have submitted an idea or concept pitch and we're taking them with a team to curate that into TV pilots and into full stage productions. And I'm super excited about this opportunity that we're getting to help to build up the industry because as of now, I think there are two Bahamians who have shows that have gone to get contracts internationally. And two for an entire country when it comes to TV shows is not a lot. We've had a lot of local TV shows uh, where they play it on the cable station, but we want to build up the industry so people from all of the world can see shows from the Bahamas on Netflix, on Hulu, and all of those, you know, different places. And that's why I wanted to just start the Film Institute. That's why I believe God gave me the instruction. And at first I didn't want to do it. And I don't know if you've ever been in a position or had to pursue a dream that you didn't want to do, but you were doing it because simply because God told you to do it. And when we did our series, Easy Love, God told me to, it was, a, I was during that weekend, I took a staycation. I was reading the book, Easy Love, the first draft before it was a final copy. And during that time when I was getting downloaded ideas of how to write up the script, God gave me the idea for Star Film Institute. And that was in 2021, so two years ago. And so now we're here in 2023, seeing us walk it out. And it's very, the initial stages. We're super excited about everybody who submitted and we're gonna walk them through the whole process of having a final finished product. But it's a long road when you're building an industry. And in the Bahamas, we want to have our Hollywood, our Nollywood, our Bollywood version. And I just wanted to share some reasons why I think that it would be such a great thing to have that for our industry. So the first reason why I think it's so important for the Bahamas to have their own industry when it comes to film and TV and, and being on international stages. The first reason is because it helps to advertise our country. I remember the first time I watched Crazy Rich Asians, Singapore was never on my list as somewhere that I would want to visit. But as they went through the different areas and the different, you know, the marketplaces and the different scenery and the different, you know, attractions. I was just like, it's on my list. It's now on my bucket list. I definitely want to go there now. And I feel like that is something that, you know, film and media and TV does. It introduces you to a world that you've never seen before. And so I think it's so important for us to be able to celebrate the authenticity of our culture and who we are. And like I said, there's two Bahamians who've had international contracts for shows and I've had the awesome opportunity of working on two of those shows and we're in the second season of one of those shows and the producer who is the showrunner for the second season is someone who's worked on power so she's from the u.s and she was sharing with us when she was watching season one and what we wrote she said what she enjoyed the most was when she was learning about things that we talk about in the Bahamas. Like when they were saying things that they, that we do in the Bahamas, she felt like she was getting like this inside information of, oh, that's something that they do there. Like she felt like she was like, it was teaching her about our culture. And it made me realize that if you're not from the Bahamas, that is such a rich and great experience for you that people aren't experiencing when we're not putting that content out there. And so I think it's so important to be able to share the authenticity of where we're from and what we're about and who we are as a people with so many p other people because they enjoy that experience. It's something unique. It's something different that they've never seen before. And so I think that that would be widely celebrated. The second reason that I believe that it's so important 
for us to, to, to share and to build up the industry is because there are people, children in, in high school who want to, or, or primary school, who want to pursue non-traditional careers, who don't want to be the doctor. They don't want to be the lawyer. They don't want to, you know, be the nurse or the, the things that we are, have told, like, these are traditional jobs. And if you want to live in the Bahamas, this is the kind of job you have to do. Then their dreams are shattered. I remember that there was a friend of mine who at the age of, I think she went at 30, to go to school to, you know, hopefully one day land on Broadway. So she went to school for theater arts at 30. And the reason why she went at 30 is because she had already had a degree that she went to when she first finished high school. But she remembers that when she was, she had a time capsule from when she was in primary school and she, at the open date was when she was in New York um, in school during her first semester. And so when she opened the time capsule, it was supposed to tell them what they wrote as a child that they wanted to be. And on the paper, she had singer, actress, and I can't remember the third one. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember if it was dancer, but it was singer, actress, and there was something else. And then there's a line through those and it says teacher, and ranker or something else traditional. And she said, and so when she was showing us the paper, like guys, I opened my time capsule and look, I originally had, like I'm now in my thirties in first semester pursuing a career to, to be on Broadway. And I'm looking at this paper where I wrote, you know, singer and, you know, actress and all of those things. And I was asking, why are those, why is there a line through it? And she said, she, because she remembers in high, in primary school, the teacher coming to her while she was writing on that paper and told her that you need to take those things off your list and put something that's a little more realistic. And that broke my heart that not only do we not see representation of people in these non-traditional careers, that there were educators a few years ago who didn't even encourage children to pursue something that was a gift, a talent, something that they felt like they had been called to do. And the final one, which is, I think one of the most important reasons why I want us to be able to make our own television. The final third one is that Media has a strong influence over who we are and what we think and what we believe. And as a believer, there's so much content on TV where I like the storyline or it's a great show, but there's so much things in it that I don't agree with as a believer. And it's hard to watch or I have to decide not to watch. And it's just like, where am I finding the content that you know, has all of the universal themes, but also has a lot of the belief systems and and things that I believe in. And I think that media has a strong way of persuading people and, and allowing people to see themselves on the screen and, and, and dictating what people decide to do. So for instance, when A Different World came out, that was persuading people in a positive way that a lot of black people saw schools that had a lot of educated, you know, people who went to college. And so it was a, a push for young black people who didn't see college as an option to now see college as an option. When we first had the Cosby show, you know, nowadays doctor and lawyer is, you know, celebrated, but before then it was something that people thought that I could never even do because I can't go to school. So those are ways that the culture has been positively impacted. And so when I asked, I remember I had a Facebook question one day and I said, I'm asking a question to Christian women, which character on TV is most similar to you from a TV show? And they couldn't think of one. They couldn't think of one as you're watching now, right in below, if you can think of a character that you, you know, the character may have some things that you are similar to you, but like, are they really, really like all of your beliefs, all of it? Like it was hard to find a character that was a believer and had similar experiences and similar convictions and a similar lifestyle that's on TV, that kind of content it isn't widely there. And so therefore I think that if there are messages that represent our values, represent our beliefs, media is the place where influence takes place. And I wanna be a part of that conversation. And so those are the three reasons. The, the first one is it helps to advertise our country and what we're about and, and let people know what it's about to experience our culture. Number two, I think it encourages our younger generation to go out and pursue dreams that are really a part of who they are and what the God has called them to be. And number three is media has a heavy influence. And I think that it's time for us to have a seat at the table, a voice at the table when it comes to media and to be able to have shows that reflect our values and what we represent.
And so I want to say thank you so much for tuning in this episode. I don't know when we will have a full fledged Bahamian industry in TV and film. I think it's important to start and I think it's important to sow the seed and this is my opportunity to sow the seed. And so I hope that you guys follow the Star Film Institute. I will put the website below for you to check it out um, and just see where this journey takes us because I think there's so much that we can do together and I'm so encouraged by there being so many people who want to follow a similar path. So thank you for tuning in and I can't wait to see you next week.